Facebook Live. Aloha everyone, I'm Johan Van Arde and today is Aloha Friday free training coming to you from beautiful Kauai. Uh, for those of you on my personal page, I'm just here for 10 seconds to announce it. I shoot all of this on my like page, facebook.com forward slash coach rugby dude. Or you can also just look for my name, Johan Van Arde. It's on my business page and I'm doing it on Periscope as well. Hello to all my Periscopers, my favorites. Uh, you kick uh, Facebook's butt every week. Just got done with a brutally hard workout. It is summer in Hawaii. It's always nice, but it's a little bit warmer, a little bit more humid. And uh, it's been a half an hour and I'm still sweating like crazy. So you get me as I'm going to the beach. All right. So those of you on my personal page, I'll see you over on my like page. And just a minute. Sorry, I forgot to turn my microphone on again as usual. For those of you on my personal page, go over to my like page, facebook.com forward slash coach rugby dude, or just look for Johan Van Arde's business page. I'll see you over there. Thanks. All right, guys, thank you for being patient with me here. While we are on my page, let me know where you're coming in from. Um, giving a shout out to somebody from Brazil here. Sorry, this was just too late to see your name. Um, and we are going to be going into our question and answer session in just a second here. All right. So just want to get the recording up going on the one phone. We've got three phones running here. Do I like Moana? <laughs> yeah, it's a cool movie. <laughs> yes, it is. I liked it. Um, I have a lot of uh, friends here and of course, uh, and I have a few uh, friends that's like 75% or more Hawaiian. Uh, one of my best friends here is 50% Hawaiian. Learned a lot about the culture from them and um, just love the lifestyle here, you know, and still getting much, much more involved in the culture here. So yeah, this is awesome. So um, let me know what questions you have for me, guys. I'm going to talk about one thing that's self-belief during a lower Friday free training, which I'm coming to you free every Friday around 10 o'clock. Um, and uh, 10 o'clock uh, Hawaiian time, which is uh, 4 p.m. East Coast time. And so, but this is the session where I'm not just teaching, but also answering and responding to your questions and answers on marketing, branding, and um, sorry, don't speak Spanish, can't see what you're saying. Um, but anyway, we are going to start. Let me know your questions and I'll take a note and we'll respond to those in just a second so all right just checking our notifications here all right we are live on facebook live let's see where is that live coming in from come on show it to me there we go so i can see the comments a little bit better Okay. All right, guys. Um, we are getting started. Aloha. This is Johan Van Arde coming to you from beautiful Kauai on this Friday. And it's Aloha Friday free training. Ask me any questions you want on social entrepreneurship, network marketing, building your own business, branding and marketing yourself online, as well as mindset. Um, Today I'm going to talk about, uh, for one, self-belief, and then I want to respond to all your questions. If you let me know where you're coming in from, I'll give you a shout out. And also guys, uh, if this gives you some value, please feel free to share this on, on, when you're on Periscope with your f f Facebook friends, with your Twitter friends, and with everyone else on Periscope. Uh, for those of you on Facebook, in the bottom left hand corner, you can tap to share if you've got value out of this. If you share, I'll give you a huge shout out on your personal page. All right. And then, of course, while I'm going through this or you're watching the replay, please tap the screen. Uh, give me some hearts and likes. I do this totally for free. So you know what that's all about. So the first thing I want to talk about today is self-belief is the first thing we are going to talk about. And then we'll go into a couple more questions here. 
I'm um, just going to slide here real brief to see what comments we have coming in. Okay, guys, so self-belief is something that we all should have. We all know that, right? And we all need to develop our self-belief and believe in ourselves. But that is not the topic of my talk here. The topic of my talk is that I believe with all the personal development I've done, the coaching I've done, the mentoring, the counseling I've done, spiritually, mentally, for skills, for mindset, spending... Guys, I've spent way over six figures, uh, probably twice over, um, on personal development, coaching, and training. So why... Let's change that just a little bit. So why am I saying this to you? Is that if you don't have the ultimate self-belief, you will never... And hear me you will never become all you can be, whether it's a mentor, a businessman, woman, an entrepreneur, a husband, a father, a, a, a wife, um, a parent, um, a friend. You will never become what you can be unless you have ultimate self-belief. So let me know and I'll give you a shout out if I see that coming up. Um, hi to you. It's happy Friday to you. Aloha Friday as we call it here. So guys, if you don't have that now, how do you get that? We all have done some amazing things in our life. We all, thank you, it's a wave, right? It's like Moana. <laughs> um, uh, so she said she loves my necklace. Um, anyway, so if you, how do we, we develop self-belief? Yes, through accomplishment, and it's what Tony Robbins calls the art of achievement. And it's not just achievement and work and being successful at work. And what is really successful? Is it money? Is it a position? Or is success in life to enjoy, have fulfillment, and having the art of fulfillment, which is the most important thing, having family and doing vacations? And why do I bring up vacations? Because as Americans, Americans are so guilty of not even taking vacations and if they do not taking enough and not spending the time with their family and seeing the world and doing things that is fun. It's just work, work, work. It's all about money and stature for a lot of Americans. And sorry if I step on some toes, but it's true, guys. If you're European, South American, South African like I am, it is a lot different. Family, vacations uh, come first, then work comes. And yes, we all take our work seriously, but we also take our time off seriously um, that is a just a little slippet that I put in here but here's the, the thing is you self-believe and having success as a parent as a friend in business will never you will never reach your ultimate potential you will never never reach it unless you totally believe in yourself and how do you believe in yourself by reminding yourself and this is an exercise my mentor gave me and he said to me dude you are like the guy on the Dasekis commercial. And it's like, yeah, whatever, you know. And he says, and he started listening to, listening to me, all the things I've accomplished in my life, what I've done, where I've been. He says, you are one of the most interesting men on earth. And I believe that any one of you watching this are one of the most interesting people on earth. You have all been places and accomplished a lot of things. Um, accomplished as parents, as friends, as business people, whatever it is. So what I want you to do, what my mentor told me to do, is I want you to go write a list of all the places that you've been, all the things that you've done, and all the things that you've so-called accomplished, and then come back and tell me on this video, or on my page, or on Periscope on Twitter, if you don't think yourself that you are absolutely stunning, that you are amazing, that you are wonderful you are the most interesting person and when you believe that about yourself that self-belief and I'm not talking about arrogance or ego totally totally removed from this I'm talking about believing in who you are and that will let you step into be the perfect spouse the perfect parent the perfect business person or not well, no, let's take perfect out but a, full, a person that comes from a perspective of being fulfilled and knowing that you've accomplished amazing things 
and that the person that whoever you believe created you in my case I believe Yahweh created me is to live to his purpose for my life so I really hope that gives you some little perspective on who you are and who you can be all right that's the one thing I really wanted to teach about today Kuni my friend when, are you coming to Spain in September um, I see you are live watching me it's one of my best friends from South Africa lived in the US with me and now in Holland the chiropractor I'm going to Spain in September wanted to see if you are gonna join me my buddy um, I'm not going to speak Afrikaans for the sake of our other viewers, but type a comment in it, Kuni, um, or give me a couple hours of likes so I can see if you're going to meet up in Spain with me. All right, guys, so let's see what other questions we have coming in today. Um, oh, um, what is the best way to get people to sign up for your company or get your product service yes okay all right let's uh, let's uh, restart the the recording camera here so what's the best way to get somebody to um, to join your company your team um, or purchase your product when they are not 100 percent sure number one guys the number one thing is first you need to remember that people will do things more to eliminate pain than to gain pleasure so you have to paint the pain. You have to show them how much pain they can avoid by having your product service or being part of your company. And you have to uh, then point out the pleasure that they can gain from doing that. But the ultimate thing that's gonna have somebody sign up for your network marketing company or buy your product or your service or whatever it is that you do is that if they don't do that, of course, they won't cannot gain the pleasure, but the pain that they will experience, it's much worse. Now, <laughs> I can make it very literal with a chiropractor being on here, right? Uh, you're gonna feel great, you're gonna have great sex, you know, you're gonna be able to work out, you're gonna feel good, your hormones is gonna be balanced, um, you know, all the good things that chiropractic does for you. But what you would say, you are gonna keep bending over and it's gonna hurt, it's gonna hurt when you get up. Do you wanna continue having that? or do you want to continue or do you want to start living into your full potential so that is the one thing but you have to deliver it in such a way that people have fun and the more you can have fun be light get the message across you create the pain show the pleasure they can gain but be light and laugh and make them laugh the more you will move them because emotion motion first of all when you move people walking with him and they're talking or questions create emotion it changes the state and when the emotion is there that moves people to emotion again of taking action and so that is very important but if they don't have fun they would maybe like and trust you but it's just a little bit heavy on them you gotta make it fun and exciting for them and make them laugh you know, if you make them laugh, um, I, I guarantee you, it is a lot easier to sell whatever it is that you are presenting to someone else to change their life with. I really hope that helps. Um, all right. Let's see what else is coming in. Um, so, who of you have, uh, while we're waiting for a couple more questions, who have you seen the movie Mohana and did you like it? Um, this is not out of the movie Mohana. This is my, um, I've had it for a very long time. It just happened to be very similar, right? Um, so, what else can we help you guys with today? Uh, this has been uh, some mindset and some skill training. Um, and let's get a little bit into um, to some real serious prospecting training of question is asking um, if people say they don't have time to watch my video or presentation your network marketer for example you have a video presentation and somebody don't have the time or they say they will get back to you look um, how do you handle that so 
All right, so the question is, how do you handle the situation when you want someone to watch your video, your presentation for your business or your product, and they tell you that they don't have time or they will watch it when they can and they get back to you. Now guys, this is where posture becomes very important. This is where self-belief is very important. This is where not having a lack mindset becomes very important and having an abundance mindset becomes very important because if that person really, really wants your product or service um, or join your company, they'll make time to watch it and they'll commit to a, a time when they can watch it and get back on the phone with you and tell you when you can talk about it. If they don't, it's like you must not be very serious. I thought you were serious about creating extra income, getting this product um, or getting this service. Um, that's cool, no worries. Um, I did tell you what, here's my number. When you are ready to um, to talk about this more seriously and watch it, you get back to me and then I'll say, no, 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 I'll watch it, I'll watch it, I'll watch it. And then I would say to them, okay, so when, how soon can you watch it? And and then give me a time and then I'll call you. Is that a deal? And if you say, no, 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 I can't. It's like, you are not really all that serious. I'm telling you, again, give me your, here's my phone number, call me when you want to learn more about this product or service or opportunity and you are ready to sit down, commit, watch it and get on the phone with me afterwards and I'll be happy to share with you. I wish you all of the best. I guess this is not for you right now. People hate that when you do that because you are taking it away from them and people, once they can't have something, then they really want it. But if that person comes back to you and say, Oh, yeah, no, that's okay. I really don't have the time or why well, I don't care for it or whatever. Although you think this person could be, let's say, network marketing, really enjoy your company, your products, and be wonderful. It's their choice, not yours. Let them go. Next, it's an abundance mindset, guys. There's more. There's a lot more of them than us. So remember that. Always remember that there's more. Never be hesitant to take away. I also do fractional vacation ownership, you know, that I sell. And I've had this guy telling me that he's really interested, but he just can't make a decision. I said to him, well, you have a review period for seven days, and he tells me it's not enough. So I simply told him, I said, okay, so here's the brief facts. And I tell you what, when you're ready, you can come back to us, because I'm not going to waste all my time and energy on something now that you tell me that you can't even make a decision on in a week. What not to say, right, when I'm doing the presentation. So never hesitate to take something away from people. I've talked about this a lot, but guys, do not leave things up in the air. I don't know about you, my time is valuable, and even if I don't work all the time and I go body surf or I go paddle or I do whatever, my time is valuable and I need to spend it the best I can. If you will value your time, because time is just the one thing in life that we can never ever get back again, don't leave things up in the air. Set an appointment, or if there's not a commitment, don't go in. Take it away, let it go. Just let it go. All right, I really hope that it helps you in your prospecting. The biggest mistake you can do is coming from a lack mindset where it comes as if you are begging that person to use your product or service. You have the gift. You are giving it to them. They should be so thankful that you are giving to them. And if they are not into it, let it go. And don't be, that's, be friends. Let it go. Just let it go. If that's one of your best friends, let it go. You know, it's just not for them. Come from an abundance mindset instead of a lack mindset. It's like waves in the ocean. They will keep coming. It will keep coming, guys. And now and then, the big wave that you're really going to surf well, that will also come. So I really hope that and changes your mindset and thinking about things such as that. All right, I hope that helps you on that. Okay. Uh, where are we on time? Oh, wow, we've been going for about 20 minutes. I was a little bit late today. Um, Kuni, we need to talk sometime soon, my friend, um, since you don't want to talk to me here on Facebook Live. Uh, thanks to you, those of you joining here on Periscope. I really hope you have a wonderful weekend. I hope you got some value out of this. Uh, please share. And remember to uh, tap the screen to give me hearts and likes as you are watching the broadcast. And then um, do not, uh, thanks for all the hearts. Uh, Again, uh, Periscope is kicking Facebook's butt again, and um, let's see. Um, all right, and I have a gift for you. If you go to my website, johanvenardi.com, 
like my name on Periscope or on my way, on Facebook, um, or simply you can type in rugbydude.com, you can get for free my four-step checklist, my daily Aloha laptop lifestyle four-step checklist. It's what I used to create the lifestyle that I live here, to move here, and to keep living here. And that's I just didn't follow that. I still follow that on a daily and weekly basis, and it's totally free to you. Go grab that. It's totally free, and let me know what value you got out of that. All right, guys, it's on the front of my website, uh, on the homepage. I'll take care. I'll see you on the other side. Aloha and God bless.